Hey guys, it's Rob Sebek with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to my channel, hello, make sure you subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go paperless with your work, studies, or business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know each time I release a new video. In today's video, we will be going through Google Keep. Google Keep is a free note-taking and planning application from Google. You have to be signed in with your Google account to use the application, but you can use it offline once you're signed in. The application is available for your iPad, iPhone, MacBook, and Windows, and it is also available on the web. You can create lists, handwritten notes, audio recordings with transcriptions, and add photos to your notes. Creating notes is as simple as tapping one of these icons at the bottom here if you already know the type of note you want to create. Or you can use this plus icon if you're not sure what you want to create and you just want to make up your mind as you go. Google Keep lets you create interactive lists. You can switch from a list to a paragraph. Your tasks get ticked off as you complete them. The application also strikes out the completed tasks and moves them to the bottom of the list. That way, it is much easier for you to differentiate between your completed tasks and incomplete ones. You can easily rearrange these items, simply drag them and move them where you want. You can add a reminder to your list. You can pick a date or a place to get a notification from. You can pick a date and time. For your time, you get presets, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And if none of these are what you need, you can add a specific time. In case you have to pick up groceries at a mall when you're at that particular place, the application will remind you to pick up your groceries. Sometimes you want to be reminded of something when you're in a certain place, not necessarily at a certain time. And it's really useful that the application gives you that option. You can export this to other applications and share it with other people. But more importantly, you can collaborate with other people on this. Simply add their email addresses and you can work on the list together. It's very useful when applications have this collaboration feature. We are starting to want to work together on a lot of documents and collaborating with people that are not with us physically. So I think a collaboration feature is soon going to be a must-have feature. You can pick a color for your page. You can handwrite your notes. You have four paper templates to choose from. Square, dots, rules, and plain. The tool set you get is quite decent. For very simple note-taking, you get two pen tools, which come with eight fixed sizes and 28 colors. I prefer the first tool. It seems to work better for me. The handwriting experience in the app is great surprisingly because this application is very simple and the tools they look simple and i just thought maybe the handwriting wasn't that good but it's actually quite good the application has no lag it managed to replicate my handwriting as it would look on paper as you write your page extends indefinitely downwards but the width of the page is fixed and you can't expand it you can zoom in and out of your pages if you want to add more information while writing, you have to remember to scroll with two fingers. I kept forgetting that, and so I had to keep on undoing unwanted strokes. The highlighter goes over your ink. Layering it over your notes will bury your notes completely. It's better when the highlighter is behind the ink. The eraser erases per stroke. Long press it and you can clear the whole page. There is one type of lasso tool, which is a fixed rectangular one. I wish the lasso tool was a freehand one because this rectangular one makes it difficult to select exactly what you want on the page. After you've uh, selected what you want, you can rotate and resize your selected notes. You can add a reminder and collaborators for this note too. 
So every note that you create, it doesn't matter what it is, you can add reminders and collaborators for all your notes in Google Keep. The application will record audio and transcribe it for you so you get a copy of the audio and the transcribed text. If you're not in the mood to write or type, just say the note. The transcription is quite accurate though it requires an internet connection to transcribe naturally which makes sense. You can add pictures to your notes which you can annotate. Even better though, Google Keep can transcribe text from images. Even handwritten ones, which is really impressive. The transcription is more accurate, obviously, the more legible your handwriting is. And this is really a decent feature to have, especially for such a simple note-taking application. Any text you add to your images goes at the bottom of your pictures. I wish that the application could give us an option to organize how our pictures and text interact with each other. But remember, this is not really a serious note-taking application. This is an app that I would use for cutting logging information and just keeping ideas together on the go. It's not really a note-taking application that you'd want to create final study notes with. All the notes you create in the app have the same workspace that allows you to add reminders and collaboration. You can pin the note to the top of your homepage and you can pin multiple notes at a time. You can archive the notes if you don't want them showing up in your notes anymore, if you want them hidden but still available in your application. You can add labels and card color. You can add pictures, drawings, recordings, and interactive lists to all your notes. So it doesn't really matter how you started your note, you can easily add and remove things as you write. You can't customize your font in the application, everything you create is the same. You don't really get a lot of editing features for your text. The application creates your notes and displays them as cards or thumbnails, which are microscopic presentations of your actual notes. So finding what you're looking for shouldn't be difficult because the application shows you exactly what your notes look like on this window. Everything in your notes is staring at you in the face. You can enlarge the thumbnails to fit the whole screen, which looks very ugly, and it fits less notes on your page. Navigating through this is a lot of work and unnecessary, so it's better to just make the thumbnail smaller. You can search through your notes in Google Keep. It gives you options to search your lists, images, recordings, and drawings. You can also look at your labels and different colors. It's really a sophisticated way of searching, especially if you've cataloged information. Google Keep will search through your handwritten notes and your text. It has quite decent OCR capabilities, especially for such a simple application. This is quite impressive. On the left side, the application has a navigation bar. You can choose to view your notes or just your reminders. This is where you get your labels listed as well. You can organize your notes according to the type of notes they are, a reminder or just a note. And you can also organize your notes according to the labels that you've added to each individual note. You can create new labels and edit the existing ones. Next, you can see your archived notes. Once archived, your notes don't show with other notes, but you can see them here. They just disappear from your homepage just to give you fewer notes to deal with, but they're still available. Your recycle bin keeps your notes for seven days before deleting them forever from the application. Under settings, you can set display options for your notes. For your lists, you can turn on the option to add new items at the bottom of the list, which is a natural way to write, and that's why I've got mine turned on. You also have the option to move things to the bottom of the list. This you can turn off if you like seeing things ticked off and remaining where they are on your to-do list. You can choose to display link previews in your application. It just looks better than just a plain link, and I like that, so that's why I've got mine turned on. This is where you set your times to define what you consider morning, afternoon, etc. And it's also where you can enable sharing your notes. The Google Chrome extension makes Google Keep amazing for cataloging online information. So if you do a lot of research and you want to keep a track of everything that you are, you know, searching online, you can just use the Google extension on your PC in your Chrome. Just tap on it and create your note and it will be added to your notes immediately. If you have multiple Google accounts, make sure you're signing in to the right account where you're using your Google Keep. You can even add a label to your links that you extract. 
and open it in Google Keep if you want to add more information. This is an amazing application, minimalist and free. It's the application you want to keep on you at all times to keep ideas and work on them with other people. It's not going to be the note-taking application you use for your final study notes or anything that serious, but it's definitely a useful application to have. If you want to have a note-taking application slash simple planning application that is free, then you definitely want to give Google Keep a try. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.